Okay, so let's continue with rotational dynamics. So, um, when you open a window, usually, uh, kunyari, ito yung window, you know, when you open a window, open the door, saan mas malakas ang force or ang rotation? If you open the window, like if you push the window like this, like that, or like here. Kumaga, kunyari, ito yung pinaka-axis. Will you be more rotation here? Or if you push the, the window or the door here? Okay? So, yun yung question natin doon. Anong relationship ng force at saka yung distance away from the axis? Okay? So, let me draw the window. I don't know how to draw a proper window. So, kunyari, kunyari naman. Essential na yung drawing ko. So, ito, yung, ito yung window. Ay, hayaan mo na. Parang libro. <laughs> okay? So, ito yung pinaka-axis natin. Okay? Kunyari, now we call this the lever arm. And then the force that you apply, you can push or pull the window is this. Perpendicular yung lever arm at saka yung force. Now, meron tayong tinatawag na na torque or the rotation, the tendency of the force to cause rotation, torque. Hindi siya twerk ha, torque. Torque. Ito yung spelling yung torque. O oh, mamaya. Uh, nasa na si torque. Yan, si torque. Hindi twerk. Okay? So, anong relationship niya? Di ba? Pag uh, the longer the 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 lever arm, we call this uh, the lever arm, di ba mas mataas yung rotation? So, ang torque natin ay directly proportional to the lever arm. The further away from the axis you're pushing or you're applying the force, the, the higher the torque or the rotation. So, pag dito, di kalahati lang, mas mahina. Pag dito, mas malakas ang rotation ng, ng door. So, they're directly proportional. But syempre, common sense, ang relationship naman siya sa force the higher the force, the higher the, the rotation. Okay, so oh, what happened? Directly proportional lang din siya. Bakit uh, nandiyan si ano? Directly proportional lang din siya sa force. That's why the equation is actually simple lang. Torque is equal to force times lever arm. Ang unit niya, force is newton times lever arm in meter. So, ganun lang siya. So, yan yung ano. So, meron tayong activity later on for, for our, for our ano, uh, synchronous session next meeting. So, ayan yung activity, yung FET Colorado. Pag-practice nyo na kung may time kayo para mas may ano yung grupo nyo, mas malakas. Pero not necessary. I will give you time naman during the synchronous session. So, in pure translational motion, kanyara x, x, axis lang or y along the y, all points on an object travel on parallel paths. So parang, kunyari, ito yung katawan mo, parang parallel lang sila lahat. But, the most general motion is a combination of translation and rotation. What if nag-rotate pa? This is nag pa siya. Oh. Combined translation. So, mayroon ka rin tinatawag na torque. So, according to Newton's second law, a net force causes an object to have an acceleration. But what causes an object of angular acceleration? So, pwedeng bumibilis, kagaya nito. What causes this to have an angular rotation acceleration? Mga ganun. So, may effect din yun sa motion. So, that's why he defined what we call torque. Okay? So, parang meron kang axis that represents a body while it is moving. And then, at any part of that body, yung, yung motion depende sa gano'n siya kalayo sa axis. So, ito nga yung door. Di ba, mas mataas yung rotation dito. Dito, mas maliit. Ito, maliit na lang din. So, the amount of torque depends on where and in what direction the force is applied as well as the location of the axis of rotation. So, yun yung definition natin. Yung lever arm, perpendicular siya sa force. So, dito, ito yung lever arm, perpendicular sa force. Ito naman, kung ganyan yung pag-push mo ng window, Ito yung lever arm mo, perpendicular sa direction ng force. Pag dito naman, ah, well, push pa punta saan. 
So the direction, the torque is positive when the force tends to produce a counterclockwise rotation. Negative naman, pag-clockwise. So ano ba yung clockwise? Ano counterclockwise? Di ba ito ay, kung ito yung orasan, di ba? Ito pa, counterclockwise. So positive yan. So torque, counterclockwise. Pag ganyan naman, clockwise naman. So negative naman yan. So that's torque clockwise. So yun yung convention natin for the direction. Okay? So paano natin gagamitin yung torque? Let's have an example. So ito, the Achilles tendon. So di ba, ito yung parang weak spot ni Achilles. Greek ba yun? I'm not sure. I'm not, <laughs> I think so. May Trojan war. Tama ba? So the tendon exerts a force on mag of magnitude 790 Newton. Determine the torque, the magnitude and direction of this force about the ankle joint. So may given ka dito yung mga angle-angle. Ang distance ng, ng ankle joint at saka ng Achilles, uh, ng, ng point na to, kung saan nakakunit yung Achilles tendon mo sa buto, is about three, uh, 0 0.036 uh, meter or parang 3, ilan ba yan? Uh, 3.6 centimeter. So something like that. Mga ganun daw yung um, distance ng dalawa. So ang force, kasi pinupush, pinup, ano ng muscle mo yan? So upward. So pag ganyan yung, yung force. Again, yung lever arm perpendicular dun sa, sa force. So mag-drawing ka ng line. Kung given yung mga angle, kasi anatomy naman to, you can determine the angle. You can determine also the lever arm and the, the, the amount of torque later. So yet yun yung susolve natin yung amount of torque. So, sa problem na to, example, ano naman ba So, example 3, ang given ay, ano ang given? The force, that's equal to 790 Newton. Pagkatapos, dito, meron kang uh, axis, meron kang axis, so, meron kang force, pag ganun daw yung force, Tapos ang, ang, ang lever arm mo is perpendicular dito. So parang ganyan yung lever arm. Okay, ano ba yan? Kung ito ay uh, 0.036 meter, ano tong lever arm? Kailang alam mo muna siya, di ba? Ito daw ay 55 degrees. So, di ba, meron tayong trigonometry that you can use to determine the angle of the adjacent. Babalik ta rin mo ngayon yung itong ano na to. Malilito ka nito. Pero parang ito yung hypotenuse, ito adjacent. So, drawing ko ulit. Pag ano naman. Adjacent to. Ito yung hypotenuse. 0.036. Okay. Binali, bali, binabali, binaliktad ko na yung triangle ko. Zero yan. Uh, ano tong lever arm? So di ba may angle ka? So ka or towa? Ka. Kasi may adjacent. So, ang bagay mo dito, cosine theta equals ka hypotenuse over adjacent. So, ang L mo is equal to hypotenuse over tama ba? Hypotenuse over cosine theta. That's 0 0.036 over cosine of 55 degrees. So, eh, you should calculator. Mm -hmm. 55 cosine eh, mm -hmm. 0 point, uh, 036 divided by cosine of 55. Tama ba? 0 point, parang mali. 
katawa. At ito ano ito aking solution, mali. Erase, erase. Anong mali? Ha? Tingnan nyo plus. Hindi ko na ulitin tong recording na to. Ka. Ka. Adjacent of hypotenuse, mali. So, edit, edit. Baliktad yung aking itong dalawa, baliktad. Delete. <laughs> Okay, kakaka. -ka. So, ito dapat. Save ko na muna ito. Mm -hmm. Ka. So, ito. Ito at saka ito. Over. Or L is equal to H times cosine theta. And that is um, 0 0.036 times cosine of 55 degrees. You should get an answer of 0 0.021 meter. So, alam mo na yung lever arm. O, di ba? Kung ito yung axis mo, ano yung rotation ng force na yun? Ito ang force. Clockwise ba siya o counterclockwise? Di ba? Ito negative, ito positive. Ano kaya? O di ba, itong force na ito pag ganun, pag ganun pa, pa, clockwise. So, clockwise. So, negative. So, torque is equal to FL force times uh, 790 newton times the lever arm, which is 0 0.021 meter. Alam mo, negative yan. So, negative siya, negative. Ano ba yan? saan saan ko na ilagay aking negative anyway alam niyo negative yan kung nanood kayo ng video na to so that's equal to you should get an answer of negative uh, 16 newton meter so that's your answer bakit negative kasi pa clockwise ang direction ang motion mo okay pag may question pati no okay so these are now the conditions for equilibrium kailangan hindi siya nag-accelerate on the x and y at saka hindi rin siya nag nag-tutor, uh, hindi rin siya umiikot-ikot, yun yung equilibrium. So, minsan kahit steady ka, kung umiikot ka naman, gumagalaw ka, hindi ka pa rin equilibrium. Umiikot ka sa stress, for example, stress ako, oh, kahit nandito lang ako nakaupo, stress ako, umiikot-ikot ako, katawag, <laughs> parang ganun. But, so, dapat both uh, first condition and second conditions in equilibrium. So if a rigid body is in equilibrium, neither its linear motion nor its rotational motion changes. So dapat hindi nagabago yung ating rotational motion at saka um, a linear or a, a translational motion. So yun yung condition for equilibrium. So maybe I should write it. So conditions for equilibrium. Laki naman. Okay? Ito na tayo. Okay? So, sulat nyo na lang mga kondisyon sa equilibrium. So, AX equals AY, dapat zero yan. Ganun din. May tinatawag na angular acceleration. Hindi natin tidi-discuss sa basta. Kung mayroong acceleration, mayroong angular acceleration. Zero din yan. So, ito, summation of FX equal to zero. Ganun din, summation of FY equal to zero. So, ito, ibig sabihin lang yan, pag walang acceleration, angular acceleration, summation of all the torque equal to zero. O pwede mo rin sabihin, torque clockwise, which is positive, minus torque, counterclockwise, which is negative, equal to zero. Pwede mo nga siyang ilipat. Pag nilipat mo sa kabila, magiging positive. So parang equal yung dalawa. So parang, kunyari, ito yung axis. Itong, uh, kunyari, ito yung torque, counterclockwise, equal siya sa torque, clockwise. Diba pag nilipat magiging ano? So, balance. Okay? So maybe we can solve 
Ayatan. Equilibrium of a rigid body. A body is in equilibrium if it has zero translational acceleration and zero angular acceleration. In equilibrium, the sum of the externally applied forces is zero. Zero net force. And the sum of external applied torques is also zero. Zero of net torque. Let's have an example. Etang reasoning strategy. Yeah, so I'm not gonna read it anymore. Basahin nyo. Well, I am. So like uh, equation. Ito lang equation, pero dumadami yan. Kasi maraming forces. Again, mag-draw ng free body diagram para ma-visualize. Choose a convenient, a convenient x, y axis and resolve all forces into components that lie along these axes. Apply the equations that specify, specify the balance of forces at equilibrium. Select a convenient x, a convenient axis of rotation. Set the sum of the torques about this axis equal to zero. Solve for the equations for the desired unknown quantities. Masayin mo na yung plus. So let's have an example para mas ma, ma ano yung reasoning strategy. So example number four. So ayan, meron ka daw diver, yung woman, 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 single. Then you have a full crew here. Ito man yung boat that supports it downward para hindi siya mag-rotate. Mahulog agad. So ito, pa-upward yung force nito kasi parang siya yung normal force. Uh, sinasalan niya yung kumaga, sinusupport niya yung weight nito at saka yung force nito to fix it there. So a woman whose weight is 5.30 Newton is poised at the right end of a diving board. Nandito siya sa dulong-dulo. Ang length ng diving board is 3.9 meters. The board has negligible weight and is supported by a full chrome it down, which is uh, 1.4 meter away from the other end, away from here. So 1.4 away from, from uh, the ball, the other man at 3.9 away from the ball. So find the forces that the ball and the fulcrum exerts on the ball. So ano yung F fulcrum and ano? F bolt. So tawagin na lang natin sila ano na, F1 and F2. So given yung weight, which is equal to 530 Newton. Um, Hindi natin alam yung F1 and F2, so hanapin yun. What is F1 and what is F2? Again, draw a free body diagram. So, ito daw. Kunyari, iyan. Ito yung weight. Okay? Ito daw yung full chrome. Tawagin natin siyang F2. Ito naman yung sa bolt, F1. So, ito ay about uh, yung lever arm nito, tawagin natin lever arm 2, 1.4 meter. Ito naman, it's a lever arm of the weight, tawagin natin lever arm of the weight, 3.9, tama ba? 3.9 meter, parang total lang. So, paano natin isasolve? Ito. Hmm. Pwede mo nang gamitin yung either this one or that one. So, solution. Hmm, paano kaya? Solution. Maybe, ano, gawin natin axis to. Ibig sabihin yan yung pinaka-basis ng mga rot rotation natin. So, ang axis natin, F1, is the axis. So, zero yung torque niya. Okay? So, pag ginawa mo zero yung torque, wala nang ano yan. So, parang ito na lang. Meron kang weight. Saka meron kang F2. Ito yung lever arm of 2. Ito naman yung lever arm of the weight. So, torque counterclockwise. Torque clockwise. Ganyan. So, diba? Torque should be equal to zero. Ang pla... Ay, ito pala, pag ganun. Mm -hmm. Yung F2. So, anong torque that produces a counterclockwise? Di ba itong force? Kaya, torque counterclockwise minus torque clockwise equal mo lang, equate mo lang sa zero. Dalawang forces na lang nandito. Let us see yung F2 at saka yung weight. Wala na yung F1 kasi ginawa natin siyang axis. 
So yeah, what is uh, torque? Force times lever arm, yeah, right? So, ang torque counterclockwise, opposite ng clockwise, eto, pag yung kanyang torque, counterclockwise. So, counterclockwise, eto naman yung clockwise. Ganyan siya. So, F, force 2 times lever arm 2 minus uh, weight times lever arm of the weight equal to 0. So, ganun lang. So, lipat sa kabila, F2 is equal to weight times lever arm of the weight all over L2. So, yan yung formula natin. Ngayon, alam naman natin yung value ng weight given 530 newton times lever arm of the weight. Alam natin kung saan siya nilagay, 3.90 meter times yung lever arm of the force. 1.4 meter, makapansal dyan yung unit ng meter, matitil sa iyo ang force. Okay? So, matitira ang force should be, no? So, ano final answer? Usual calculator should get an answer of F2 is equal to 1.476 newton. So, meron ka ng value for F2. So, ano na lang? F1 na lang. Okay. Ano yan? Now, to find F1, you can use uh, summation of all the forces. You can use um, summation of all the F y-axis lang equal to zero. Bakit? Kasi lahat yan puro vertical lang. So, you don't need to do this fx. Ito na lang fy. You can either use that one or torque equal summation of all the torques equal to zero. So, pwede rin ito. Either this one or that one. I don't know where we can move on. So, maybe both. Okay, how about summation of summation of Fy equal to zero. So Fy muna. Anong mga y, y? So from our drawing, parang obvious naman na ano, na yung F2 ay positive, yung F1 ay negative y, yung weight is negative kasi down 1. Okay, so madali lang naman siya. So, up, uh, ang F1 is downward, so negative F1. Cosine, ano yun? Cosine, uh, uh, sine 270. Sine of 270 is negative 1. Kaya naging F1. Plus, F2 is upward. So, sine of 90, hindi positive. So, F2. Diba? O, so, sabi natin, F1 sine of 270. Anong ganyan? Anong ganun lang din yun. F2 sine of 90, which is positive 1. Plus the weight. Or minus na ngayon si weight. Kasi weight sine of 270 is negative 1. So, kaya ganyan, minus, uh, minus, minus 2 plus minus uh, F2 plus F, minus F1 plus F2 minus W equal to 0. Ngayon, given naman yung mga values niyan. So, pag nilipat mo sa kabila si F1, or F1 is equal to, magiging positive naman si ano. F2 minus W. So, ganun lang. F2, alam na natin yung value ng F2, 1476 minus 530 newton. So, F1 is equal to 946 newton. So, I hope this is right. So, parang solution 1 for F1. So, ito naman. I don't know if you can see solution 1 for F1. 
solution 2 for F2. So, uh, so dalawang solution. So, gagamit naman tayo ng summation of all the torque equal to zero. Dito, ang pwede nyo kasing gawin to class. Ang gagawin nyo para mawala yan si F2, ito na yung axis mo. Di ba may F1 ka dito? May weight ka dito? Kung ito ay 3.9 meter, ito malalaman mo agad. Ito na yung bago mong lever arm of the weight. Ito naman, same pa rin kanina, lever arm of number 2, lever arm of number 1, which is 1.4 meter. Ito yung lever arm of the weight, madali lang kunin kasi 3.9 minus 1.4. So, that should be around 2.5 meter. So, alam mo na agad yung mga lever arms ng weight at saka ng F1. Kung ito yung axis mo, ito, ito is F1 will produce a counter or clockwise rotation? Counterclockwise. Positive. Ito namang weight, clockwise. Negative naman siya. Okay? So, balik tayo doon. Summation of all the torque equal to zero. Uh, bakit na yun? Tingin doon. Yeah. Okay. Save. So net equal to zero. Kadabi mo. So net equate mo just zero. So baba. Ano ba yan? Dami ka ano ano. It's just a zero. So ano mga torque na yun? Positive yung sa F1. F1, so di ba equal, equal din yan sa ano? Torque counterclockwise minus torque clockwise equal to zero. So pareho lang din yan. Or anong torque counterclockwise? Di ba F1? F1 times the lever arm of 1. Dami yung tutis. That's minus weight times the lever arm of the weight. Bago na yung lever arm of the weight mo ngayon. It's about 2 point ano na. Um, this one, 2.5 meter. So, uh, F1, ano ba? F1 here, hala, no more ink, ang aking ano. Ay, ang galing. Kaya't wala ng ink, may ano pa rin. So, lipat sa kabila si ano, W. Uh, w. <laughs> Grabe, ang galing. Over L1. Ay, ang galing. Wala na akong ink pero meron pa rin siyang sulat. Grabe, ang galing. Na-amaze ako. Kasi problema ang ink nito plus kung maubusan. <coughs> so ano na? W natin is 5.30. Ang galing. Na-amaze ako. Newton times 2.5 meter all over 1.40 meter so makakancel si meter grabe so F1 is therefore equal to o oh, bakit ano yun at a block equal to Chang 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 946 newton so tama naman so correct siya okay question so my question pakinom para mo address sa synchronous next is definition of the center of gravity sayo na natin definition the center of gravity of a rigid body is the point at which its weight can be considered to act when the torque due to the weight is being calculated. So parang that's the, the position of the, in the object where you can repre represent its weight or kung saan yung pinaka-axis of rotation niya. Kapag ge geometric objects, madali lang kasi alam nyo na. Kunyari, uh, geometric object, 
Nangyari, eto. Ito, this is a fairly geometric object. Well, medyo mabigat na. Ito na lang. Geometric siya, di ba? So, alam mo na na nandito yung pinaka-center of gravity niya. Usually, doon yun siya nagbabalance. Ngayon, nasa pita siya. Ayan, ganyan na lang. So parang ganyan. Diyan siya magbabalance sa gitna. Ganyan siya. Kasi geometric siya. What if the object is not, not geometric? So kunyari, yung katawan natin, hindi naman tayo geometric, di ba? So parang, um, di ba pag, ito, kunyari, ngayon, saan yung center of gravity? So it's usually somewhere here. So parang sa navel, nandito siya sa ano, sa sa so, uh, sacrum, kaya maano yung sacrum, malaki yung sacral muscle, yung sa vertebra na part nito, kasi it can do it. So, anatomical position, ganyan. So, ang makita mo. Ngayon, anatomical position, ganyan. Nandito yung ano. Ganyan siya. Ganyan. So, ngayon, uh, let's, let's apply to exercise. So, ang center of gravity, dapat, in, in, in aerobics, in, 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 in the gym, for example, kailangan yung weight mo na susuportahan ng pinakamalakas na part ng katawan mo. So, pag nag-exercise ka, so for example, pag nag-bend ng knee, ay, hindi naman nakikita. Pag nag, pag nag, nag ano ka, hindi ka pwede ganyan kasi mag magsasuffer yung back, upper part ng back. Dapat ka pwede yung center of gravity para di sa strong part, which is this one or this part. Support by your muscle and your bone. So, bend your knees, support kang bagan ko, kuba-kuba. So, kunyari, pag may bag ka naman, Ah, uh, pag ipag ipag ka naman, nagbabago yung center of gravity na tinis mo gaganon. Diba? So, better like this. Or magpakanerd ka like this. Travel ka lang. Center of gravity mo, meron ka doon. Nasa stable pa rin, hindi ka ganun kasi masisira yung katawan mo, masisira yung posture, masisira yung katawan mo. So, uh, just application for human body. Kailangan ilagay niyo para yung center of gravity mo sa, sa strongest part of your body. Okay, so that's for a regular object, and there are other methods to ano um, plumb line method. We will discuss it later. So let's have the equation. So yun siya kung ano naman siya regular objects na sa gitna, kung rectangular na sa gitna. Okay, when an object has symmetric uh, symmetrical shape and its weight is distributed distributed uniformly, the center of gravity lies at its geometric center. Yun lang pag hindi na siya geometric, like this one, saan yung center of gravity nito? So parang gagawin nyo, hati-hatiin nyo siya. Diba? Mag-assign kayo ng parang axis, hati-hatiin nyo yung, yung object. Ito mukhang uh, square, ito mukhang rectangle. So parang ano yung weight nito, ano yung dimension nito, ano yung distance nito from here. So it's very hard for regular objects. One way is to, kung saan siya mag-balance, nandun yung center of gravity niya. Or use the formula, which is, again, for center of gravity. For center of gravity, ano nga ba? Mm-hmm. Mayroong kang, kunyari ito yung axis natin. Mayroong kang weight 1, mayroong kang weight 2. Kunyari, mga geometric na sila ngayon kasi hinati-hati mo yung, un, yung irregular object into a geometric object. So, ang um, center of gravity ng XCG equal lang siya sa uh, weight ng object 1. Parang center of gravity of object 1 plus weight of object 2, center of gravity of object 2 plus weight of object 3. Center of gravity of object 3 all over the total weight. Wala, pakit pula. Hayaan mo na na. Nakapula na. Weight 1 plus weight 2 plus weight 3. Magiging pula. So, hayaan mo na. Pwede naman yung baguhin mo na. So, yan yung formula for center of gravity. Let's have an example. No? Sa, we're talking about body. So, kunyari, yung ka kamay mo, saan yung center of gravity na kamay? Okay? So, Kung nag exercise ka, for example, so pag meron kang weights na nabuhat-buhat, 
ano siya, nagbabago yung center of gravity mo. Ah, uh, bakit ayun yung lumaki? Ayun. So, may weight ako dito. Diba? Kung ganyan, diba center of gravity mo, more or less. Pero pag dito, lilipat dito yung center of gravity, ang bigat. So, ito yung muscle na madidevelop. So, pag ginanyan mo, susuportahan ito, ito naman yung madidevelop. So, pag ginanyan, so parang ito naman, pero dito naman madidevelop. Kung saan yung pinaka, ano yung, Wait. Pero ingatan mo pag gano'n kasi minsan may na-injure, gano'n dahil hindi yung proper position. So let's just talk about the arm lang without the without the weight. So meron kang upper arm, lower arm, and hand. So the horizontal arm is composed of three parts, the upper, lower, and hand. Find the center of gravity of the arm relative to the shoulder. So sa example natin, Example number five. So I'm given John. I'm given. Yan siya. Meron kang weight one equal to 17 ba? Tama. 17 newton. Uh, weight two equal to 11 newton. Weight three equal to 4.2 Newton. Tapos yung mga lever arm nila, X1 equal to ano ba? Uh, yung X1 ay 0 0.13. Yung X2 naman ay 0 0.38 meter. Mas malayo na. X3 equal to 0 0.61 meter. And then for the solution, just use the formula. So continuation Continuation, ay nasa na ba? Just using, use the formula. Okay. XCG, center of gravity is equal to, use the formula, weight 1, X1, plus weight 2, X2, plus weight 3, X3, tatlo lang naman yan. Ganun lang. All over weight 1 plus weight 2 plus weight 3. Substitute now the values. So, 17 Newton. Hindi ko na ilagay mo ng unit kasi kulang sa space. 0 0.13 ah, meter. Hindi ko na muna ilagay ang unit. Basta meter yan. Ha? Plus 11 times 0 0.38 meter. Plus uh, 4.2 times 0 0.61 meter. All over, no, weight 1 is 17 plus um, ano ba? 11 plus 4.2. So the XCG in your arm is 0 0.28 meter. Okay? So parang nasa, nasa arm, upper arm siya kasi mabigat naman talaga ang arm. So nandito siyang part. Maybe the eye and shoulder and everything. So, nandiyan siya. There's a question here that I would like you to think about and then you can answer it during the recitation in the next meeting, the synchronous. So, accident in, happened in the U.S. Dahil sa what? Okay. So, finding the center of gravity, you can use a, an irregular shape using, a, for irregular shape objects, using a plumb line method. So parang ibabalance mo siya kung saan siya magbabalance. Nandun yung center of gravity. Well, I don't have an example here. But, so parang ang concept niya is parang ganito. I don't know if you can see my video. So, kanyari, meron akong papel. May, may, may papel ako. Hindi ba parang irregular na siya? Di ba? Sa plumb line method, ang sabi, nagagamit ka daw ng, ng line, ng, usually meron sila ng string, 
Tapos kung saan mag-balance, dun mo iti-trace mo ano yung, yung parang vertical or something. Ruler, wala pang ruler. Just give me a moment. So, nag-extension, nag-balance. So, pwede mo yung... Ano na? So, wala kasi akong line. So, you can trace a line. So, panyari na lang plus. I will draw here. Diba? So, parang ganyan yung drawing ko. Ganyan siya. And I will just hold it in the, uh, any part and then it should balance again. Vertical. Ang ganyan. Ay, nandito. So, parang ganyan naman. So, dalawa na ang aking intersection. Pwede ka ba mag-drawing ng isa? To check. So, parang to check. Okay na yun. Kung ganyan. So, more or less nandito daw. So, tingnan natin. So, problem method. You can check it by kung dyan nga siya mag-balance. Siya dahil dun nga. So, effective yung plumb line method. So, nag-balance siya dahil. Yay! Okay. This is Alan. I don't know.